and let's start. Okay, so I'm committing a cardinal sin of uh, talks here. I'm both going to do a few NPM installs and deploy something dur during a talk, and it's in five minutes, so please work, please work. A little bit about me. Um, some of you might know me from uh, Ember. I've been hanging around since December 2011. Uh, I recently joined the Ember core learning team, which is a big deal for me. Very happy about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, also, very excited that I've joined Simp Labs this year. Um, so if anybody needs any help doing anything slightly innovative or something crazy like I'm about to show you, please get in touch, and I'm happy to talk to you about more stuff that we're working on. Um, okay, so I'm going to start this a little bit backwards. Instead of talking about a thing and then doing it, I'm going to do it and then talk about it, because hopefully NPM will work uh, <laughs> for me. So I'm going to go Ember new, uh, Ember fest. Uh, so I'm going to actually start a new Ember app, and essentially what, I'm, what I've got on screen right now is the instructions in the Ember Ghost README. So I'm just following the exact instructions that if you search Ember Ghost and ignore the cartoon character at the top and go to the first link, um, that will be, it'll tell you to follow this stuff. And while I am copying and pasting this, I will tell you exactly what this thing actually is. First NPM has worked, there's two more to go. Uh, oh yes, thanks, thanks. Th that is in the instructions, I just wasn't, uh, everybody has done this before. Right, okay, so now, please work. Um, okay, so everybody's probably been following in the JavaScript ecosystem that there are these new fancy things called Gatsby and ViewPress, I think it's called. Uh, Gatsby is now like super interesting because it's got like billions or millions or however it is investment. Um, yes, I do want to do that. Um, essentially, they are static generators for uh, web apps or uh, JavaScript applications. Um, we have been doing that for years uh, in, with the Fastboot stuff. I'm not sure exactly how many years. Um, but recently, we've been kind of adding a few interesting things to that. Um, if you go and look at staticgen.com, you'll see that uh, there are probably about 2,000 different ways to statically generate. And if you filter by JavaScript, there's still just as many. Um, recently, if you pick templates, we now have one Ember-based static uh, site generator, which is Ember Ghost, uh, which is good to see. Um, and what Ember Ghost actually is, is it is a blog system that looks like Ghost. It's got no affiliation with Ghost, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, just using their template system. In fact, the template that you see here is a fork of the official Casper template and just changing some of their handlebars things to our HTML -E bars, whatever we call it nowadays, Glimmer. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I am going to copy this and paste it here. And hopefully this is gonna work. Pew, pew, pew. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to actually deploy Come on, come on, come on, it's gonna work. Uh, Ember fast. Ember fast pre, that was my test. Ignore. Deploy site. And this is a personal site, that is correct. Right, uh, while that is going on, um, as I said, Ember Ghost is on the Static Gen website, and one of the cool things that you see on, Ember, on Static Gen is you have this deploy to Netlify, which actually does work for this. So I'm gonna do the same thing again, and I'm gonna deploy to. I'm going to deploy two copies of this just to kind of show off. But essentially what we're doing, what we're doing is we're using Ember and Fastboot along with a little bit of broccoli trickery, um, which is essentially the same stuff that we're currently using for the Ember guides, all of that same technology, and kind of applying it as a kind of a side project, a weekend project, to build a blog system. So if anybody here wants to write a blog system, and we all love Ember, and we want to actually say, oh, do you know what? My blog is written in Ember. You can use Ember Ghost right now. And to prove that we can use Ember Ghost right now, both of these things are definitely going to have already deployed. No, that's not true. Um, but essentially, you can go to this Ember Ghost on, the, um, on GitHub, and as I said, the instructions that I showed you at the beginning, they are exactly what's on the, the first Ember Ghost, and you can actually change, you can swap out the templates by just installing a different template here. So anybody who's used Ghost before, they may be aware of Attila, which 
I think is the second most common template for Ghost. And essentially, it's just changing an NPM package. Um, cancel. It, what's the UX? Apparently you have to swipe up. I have... Whatever. Okay. So if anybody wants to have a look at this, that's our one done by the template, and this is the one that we did on a command line. Template one is actually live. Flamboyant wiles. And the one that we did on here broke. So the... Um, <laughs> The one that you click, the template, the Netlify template, it works. You can do it right now, and that actually creates a repo in your GitHub. So try it now, do your things, write your blogs, and that's it.